Hello there, welcome to the Australian Grand Prix. Just finished qualifying. Now as you can see, PS3 qualified first, which is very good. Duhan sadly was a bit more lucky down in sixth, but I think uh, we'll still be able to get a good result here. With that in mind, let's set up a good race strategy for us. Now, 99 confidence on both, <laughs> both our guys uh, should be pretty good, all things considered. We could go medium to hard. Uh, medium hard, medium is also a viable strategy. And I think we're going to do this. And the reason for that is uh, by allowing ourselves to go aggressive the entire race. And potentially also using the first couple of laps to just gain. If we have a good start here to just gain some room to work with. We could potentially have better race pace than if we, you know, run worse tires towards the end. So we'll do the same here for uh, Duhan. We're going to allow them both of our drivers to go aggressive here. I think that is probably the play to uh, play to make. That's when we do best instead of being passive. So uh, let's go for a two-stopper. Medium, hard, medium. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that race ends up. Again, as you can see here, we'll save about 30 seconds on full race pace by going aggressive on our stints. So we'll see. Hopefully we can keep the times alive enough to make that work. Hopefully Piastri can get that uh, pocket from the get-go. But uh, we'll have to see. For the Australian Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. Let's see here. Can Piastri gain what we want him to gain? A decent pocket. Duhan still sixth. Very good. Yellow flag. Something happened. I don't see anyone falling spectacularly behind. Let's have a look from Duhan's perspective, what he's up to. Yes, there is creating that pocket that we want him to do, which is good. If we can get a couple of seconds before the DRS stream begins, that would be great. And then we can just try and, you know, drive aggressively to pull away. Oh, trying to send it here. A little bit on the grass, but go past Paris. Very good. Nice work. Oh, I thought he was right about to send it there on... Uh, and there's an on uh, Verstappen 2. Right away, that would have been great. Do end with the fastest lap so far. No surprise. One and a half seconds lead. Very nice. See if we can extend that. We're going to go neutral now so that we have a little bit of ERS to play with. And hopefully, again, Piastri can maintain and extend this, uh, this lead so far. As you can see, we're lacking a little bit in top speed compared to Red Bull. We need to uh, need to try and alleviate that as soon as possible. Same movie did on Paris. Let's see if we can pull it off. Mm, maybe. Very good. We're going to go neutral here on the uh, ERS so we can again retain some. And. Uh, we're actually pretty good here, if we're tucked in behind the uh, Ferraris. For the time being, at least. And a new position, just gained by Williams. That's good. Let's speed things up. And Piastri is gaining, currently, out in front, which is good. So... I'm a bit uncertain here. Do I want Duhan to 
harvest. I think I do. Especially now that he's first. We can use him to gain an even bigger pocket for Piastri. Which probably isn't the best use of his, uh, his position. But it's what oh, we'll do. And, and the thing here is once we need to turn down the fuel usage. Uh, they'll probably catch up quite a bit. So let's just do that for Duhan right away. We could try and allow Duhan to, to you know, slip away. But I think it's better to just have him in with the others. But this DRS train now is starting to catch up to Piastri. So if we want Duhan out in front, we're going to have to, again, allow him to, to create a... Uh, create a, uh, a pocket down to the DRS train. Otherwise, he's just going to reel in Piastri, which isn't really what we want. Which is actually what he's doing right now. Let's have him deploy. He actually gained quite a pocket there. Push his fuel. See now if we can do a, a stonking lap. double. Nah, we're Probably. just gonna we're just gonna reel in Piastri here. Is that what's gonna happen? Check the DRS. Looks like it. Yeah, we did a mistake there. We're gonna end up reeling in Piastri. Let's just do this. We're gonna go aggressive because as long as he can stick with the others, that is fine. Um, even if I extend this stint, it won't really you know, help us too much. So uh, we're just going to allow him to stay. Again, we're also going to burn down these mediums as much as we can. Red Bull the place. Oh, Paris Verstappen here is uh, currently putting himself in a good position. Uh, going to have to go overtake here, I think, and try and close down that gap to Verstappen. Good overtaken again, but we have now close to Verstappen at least, so that is good. Let's just do this while we harvest, so we make sure that we retain our position. Uh, we're gonna wait a little bit longer before we do any pitting, because the tires don't really fall off until they hit that 30% mark. But we have a little bit more time to spend here before we uh, before we pit. Uh, Piastri probably won't make it two full laps before they hit that 30 mark, so we're going to pit this lap onto the hards. But again, we're just going to keep on pushing, so it's no biggie there. Duhan can probably extend a bit longer, all things considered. Go neutral. And I think we'll pit Duhan to this lap. <coughs> We'll have to see exactly where it comes out. So Piastri actually came out in fourth, which is kind of impressive, all things considered. But Verstappen's going to have a DRS train he needs to deal with. But we actually want Piastri to pull away here as fast as possible. So we'll harvest a little bit and hopefully gain enough ERS here so that we can do, you know, just try and deploy, pull away from the, pull away from the train when we get the opportunity. And we're going to harvest here for one more lap. Duhan actually came out pretty far back, as you can see. So Piastri was quite lucky, all things considered. But he's on Verstappen. But uh, even if I go conservative, these times won't last at the end. I think Verstappen 2 is probably on a, uh, on a two-stopper. So we'll take keep that in mind. Now, Piastri is again... Here, up in third. So once we get around the corner to this one, let's go to deploy. And let's build that gap and not allow people to, you know, use us for... Uh, to, to hold on to, to us. Can we overtake both of them? Yep, got both very, as well. Good. Lap time out good. Lap time out good. Let's go neutral for the time being. Let's see how... Got a three second gap that will hopefully keep on growing. That's going to be the goal here. And as you can see, it's growing quite aggressively. Uh, let's see if we can keep it under Tsunoda. Again, growing pretty good. And that, that that's basically what we want to see here. So, Duhan is overtaking Verstappen. Currently behind Paris. But we need to be careful here that we don't use Duhan to reel in 
Yastri again. But we're going to go balance. We are halfway through the race. We're three laps down on fuel. Uh, if we continue like this. So we're going to have to uh, try and save some of the fuel. And we'll have to see here how aggressively Science is able to, you know, catch up with us here. There's an overtake from Williams. Is that a new race kind of impressed with Tsunoda being up in third here. So uh, we'll have to see how, if he can keep on to that. He's on old hards, so he probably hasn't pitted yet. Looks like Piastri's still doing good. Seven and a half seconds to signs. Uh, the big question is, can they keep these hard tires till the end of the uh, end of the race? Or will they do another stop themselves? That's going to be the big one here. Let's just speed things along. We, again, are in a good position. I could try and make Duhan catch up, but... He's currently in a position where he can, you know, doom Piastri's race. So we're going to just have to hope that Duhan can fight for uh, Piper Victory really towards the end here. And we are still negative on fuel. So we might have to go conserve towards the end here. Which wouldn't actually be good. So let's just do it now. Piastri spun. That's not good. Uh, he got pushed down to fifth. Okay. That's bad. That's basically his race ruined. That's a shame, really. We were doing so well. Now, Piastri is... pretty far behind, um, you know, the Red Bulls. Duhan is now going to be our best hope, if you will. So, we're going to have to go balance there. Uh... Fuel here is going to be a challenge, but it's a shame. Home race for both of these guys, and Piastri basically bombed himself out. Uh, tire wear, the others are taking good care of their tires, so they probably won't pit. Uh, maybe they will, maybe they won't. It's kind of hard to say at this point. But uh, hopefully here, Piastri can latch on to Leclerc, use some DRS uh, from him to catch up to Paris and Verstappen, hopefully. That will be the goal. Let's deploy. And we'll see if we can, you know, catch up to the people ahead of us. We have to go neutral here. Do some harvesting, probably. I think we're good for that. And Duhan is getting very close to that pit window. So he is out front. He's going to come out behind Leclerc if we pit him. But uh, I think we're going to have to. And we're just going to have to go aggressive here and see how, how we do... Uh, Verstappen, Leclerc, both of these should pit. There's 18 laps left. I don't think their tires will last to the end. They'll at least be very short, which gives us an opportunity to catch them. Wait a minute. Uh, we don't actually... What happened here? Why have we used two sets of mediums? We're going to have to go hard again. Uh, okay. That's a bit awkward. But uh, at least now we can push towards the end completely. Duan did come out in, fr uh, in front of Alonso, which is good. Uh, in terms of Piastri, we're going to have to force him to pit now. He has an extra set of mediums. I have no idea what's going on with... Uh, with Duhan there. That's the first time I've ever seen the AI use a different set in practice. Maybe it did some weird shit not against in qualifying. That's the only thing I can... Uh, <coughs> I can imagine, so to speak. So, currently, how far are we off? We're 10 seconds off Leclerc. Piastri is 8 seconds off Duhan. Can we catch up? Oh. Okay. This uh, suddenly became very interesting. Neither of our drivers have damage to their cars, so this is very interesting. Let's see if we can like crash Mercedes. Now watch this. Lewis Hamilton involved in this one. That's the contact there. Oh, there's chaos on the Hamilton track. playing uh, 
Tetris with uh, the Haas, Sunoda, sadly. Got bounced out. But uh, honestly, the fact that we've done our pit stops is probably a good thing. We actually managed also to get Leclerc there. But uh, Verstappen went to softs. And I guess they are going to last towards the end. So maybe not the best thing we've ever done. But uh, with this, we might be able to push towards the end at least. So definitely going to be an interesting one. That's for sure. Seems like we'll be able to fully charge our ERS, which is also good. And safety cut is coming in. Overtake, push, overtake, push. And we're just going to burn these tires to the ground. In this lap, safety car in this lap. Duvan is fighting Verstappen. Actually got ahead of him. Very good. Can he get Paris too uh, on the same lap? Nope. Piastri is up in fifth. Very good. Uh, we are running out of... Uh, ERS though, so we might have to just go neutral here for a little bit. The Astra is completely out. Go harvest for a little bit here. Now, both of the cars in front of us have, you know, their tires are gone. Well, more gone than ours. Um, so with that in mind, we could potentially do something here these last eight laps. This is where Duhan likes to overtake. Let's see if we can pull it off. Same movie always does. Around the outside into this turn. Can he make a stick? Yep. No problem. Uh, the problem now is that we are out of ERS right before the main straight. Which, of course, could be a problem. So we'll have to see. Oh, Duhan actually lost a the position there. What happened? That's a weird one. That's a very weird and annoying one for that matter. Red Bull gained the place. Gonna have to do some harvesting here. Seven laps to go. Now, can Piastri get something done on Verstappen? That's the big question. We're gonna have our car send it again in, you know, that same corner they did last time. Let's speed it a bit up. Still have decent uh, tire life left, so that shouldn't be a shouldn't be an issue. Fuel is also good. The main problem here is that we aren't really getting that much ERS back, so we could be could be trouble with that throughout this race. We'll have to see. Duan actually overtook Paris while charging his ERS. That's impressive. So, we're actually going to go neutral here for Williams. both our cars. And we'll see if Piastri can make a move here on the Red Bulls. Uh, if not, we might have to use some ERS next lap. Just slightly too slow to actually make a move there on uh, Science, but should actually be able to get him here. Yep, nice move. Now we just need to get Piastri up too. He has a lot of ERS to use though. So once we get to this corner here, we're going to allow him to uh, burn some of that uh, ERS. And here's the funny thing. Third place has actually been detached, so I am tempted to allow Duhan to burn more. But that is a risk, so we'll wait a little bit before we do that. Might get one Red Bull here at least. Let's go back to neutral. 
And we'll try and get the other Red Bull on the next lap. And then we'll see if we can close the gap to the Ferrari after that. Oh, we actually got the Red Bull right there. Let's uh, harvest a bit. And I think we have enough that we can actually just straight up deploy and try and leave the Red Bull behind. And it seems like it has worked. And now we are up to the back of the Ferrari. Back to neutral. And uh, now again, here is the thing. Science has old hubs. We have better tires. Leclerc, Verstappen, both of their tires are kind of, you know, starting to go off. So with that in mind, I think we don't need to use ERS here. We still have plenty of laps to do it on, but Piastri sends it. Good job. So all we need to do now is just control this, uh, you know, in. We have plenty of uh, plenty of a gap down there. So uh, Piastri has made his way back up to first after doing his uh, little spin. Uh, two hand locked. Okay, okay. Of course, one two was a bit too much to ask for. Underfloor, minor damage. That was uh, that was a scary scary thing to watch. In all honesty. Okay, so you are waiting for everyone to pass you. Of course you are. They've locked up and gone straight on. Uh, take a look now. Now we see the Williams here. That was yes, that's the incredibly close, but I don't understand why he didn't just drive on there. I guess oh, it's a danger. Really yeah, I guess it would have been a dangerous, you know dangerous uh rejoin, but uh Yeah, it's a bit sad. One, two there, thrown away, basically. Can we get him back up into the points, though? It's going to be the, the big one. Three laps to... Well, we're on currently the third last lap. Should be able to. Piastri will still be fighting Sainz uh, all the way to the end, by the looks of things. So, uh, we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, see, Duhan is all the way up here. Can he gain any positions? Last lap, last lap. Piastri actually got overtaken, but is he going to fight the position back? Nope, he gave up. And Science actually has DRS, which is bad. So this race really just fell apart here now for us in the last couple of uh, last couple of seconds. Let's use some ERS here to get up into the back there, and we'll probably get him in the next uh, DRS zone if we can do that. Duhan will just have to, you know, do his thing really. Uh, not really much we can do there. He's... And a new position. We'll use just overtake because it's basically two, three, overtake, three overtake. corners left. And that should be good enough to uh, get signs. So go ahead and use overtake. There isn't that much left of the race. Check the DRS. Copy. And Piastri hold on here is going to be the big, uh, big question. Shouldn't be a problem. That's a bit of a shame though. Duhan is definitely out of the points because of the new point system. So. Uh, Check it like it kind of uh, kind of sad that during the Austrian Grand Prix that we throw away a one-two when we have both Aussie drivers. But yeah, Piastri here having fastest lap being over a second quicker than uh, I guess the closest one to challenge that. But yeah, it's a shame that Duhan uh, had that accident and uh, fell off. I'm very happy that he didn't hit Piastri though. That could have been disastrous for us. Uh, Piastri still leaving the drivers' championship, unsurprisingly. Duhan. Fell down, didn't score points. Still first, only one point down to Ferrari though. But uh, in general, I'd say this was a uh, okay race. A little bit disappointing there with the uh, lockup from Duhan, but uh, that's just how races are sometimes. Very good job of Piastri to get back after that spin. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you've enjoyed, and uh, I hope to see you next race.